Right, joining us live tonight down Dave Mears the farm, secret location. Tonight I've got beside me, you may have seen him off the TV screens, Matthew Bolton. Matthew Bolton is one of the strongest people in the world, under 80 kilos. Sixth strongest man in Britain, top 20 in the world. How many billion people in the world, Dave? Six million people. Six billion, billion people. people. Six billion people in the world, and he's in the top 20. All right, he's just literally come back from the United States of America. Enough of me talking. Matthew, what was it like going to America and where did you go? Uh, so I went to Daytona Beach. Yes. Uh, it was, uh, where is that? Just tell the people where is that? It's in America. Florida. Florida. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, competed in the official Shawman Games. What? You just you just woke up one day and got there, or was there a no. journey to this? Was there, there was a progress? Journey. Right. Tell the people at home how you start. How did you get started in Shawman? Um, well, it was a friend of a friend who introduced me to Shawman. Friend of a friend. Yeah. 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 yeah what have you? What, a close friend or someone you train with? Someone I've trained with. Yeah, well, they just, where did they bring I you? Just that they were training down the farm. Down so. the farm, what, so they brought you to the farm? Yeah. Uh, secret location? Yes. Uh, so what, you just started training with the lads or was there a structure involved? Was there, was there a plan involved? Uh, it was just basically just going down there and just yeah. seeing what I could do. And bit it, of fun. Just, bit of fun, really, yeah. Bit of fun, bit, a hobby. Well, from, from, from what I know from Matthew, um, he's got a bit of a competitive background, He's, he can't stop, he, I asked him earlier uh, what he used to do, he said gymnastics, and I asked him what title did he won, he just replied with everything, so you read into that what you want to, you can tell by his shoulders, gymnastics. <laughs> so, we're starting strong man, we're down the farm, what was your first competition? It was the under 90 kilo category, yeah. middle and strongest. Yeah, middle and strongest man, under 90 kilo category, and what does that qualify you for? To go to England strongest man. England strongest, strongest man, so you've got your first qualifier, into England's Strongest Man, uh, then after England's Strongest Man, where did you work? What's next? Uh, well, I did then, I dropped down to an 80 kilo category. So. Yep, so we dropped down to 80 kilo category. Uh, just to explain to you guys, yep, people like me, the uh, larger kind, are in the opens, yep. Then you've got the under 110s, you've got the under, no, under 105s, under 90s, under 80s, uh, and that's it, from what I know. Uh, I don't know too much about the female categories, I think it's under 83, under 75, under 63. Not too sure the uh, producer's uh, face is pulling his face. So um, we've got there, we've, quali we've qualified for England's Strongest Man, went straight to America. What was the yeah. progress from that? So I had to qualify yeah. um, in order to do that, and I did uh, Britain's Strongest Man. Britain's Strongest Man? Kilos. Where was that at? That was in uh, near Blackpool. Near Princeton. Blackpool, uh, Britain's Strongest Man. Um, was there any special kind of diet you had to take for this, or did you just? Because I know, like me, I can eat what I want, but I know you guys have got to really keep on top of you. Yeah, I have to be careful what I ate, because I obviously 80 yeah. kilos, so I've got to hit that, that weight category. Yeah, what did you do? Did you diet for it, or was you already around about that weight? I'm, I'm usually around about that weight, anyway, <coughs> sitting about 82, 83 kilos. 82, 83 kilos, so about um, a quarter of Dave. He's laughing. So we've done that, we've done the training. Um, Training routines. Right. You train routines, okay? To get ready for it, you have to have a tailored routine. I'll let Matthew tell you about yourself. What kind of routine did you okay, first of all, who does your routine? Dave Mir. Dave Mir, <laughs> right, and he doesn't like to tell his name too much, he doesn't like to be in the background anymore. But just to explain, Dave Mir is seven time UK strongest man finalist, British strongest man finalist, the current England strongest master. Um He's done loads of people's. He's done loads of people's coaching, uh, loads of people's stuff like that. So, um, what events do you have to program for you to get ready for Daytona Beach? Uh, so we had the log press. Log press. We had the car carry, also the yoke. A uh, hat carry. Stop me then. How, do, how how did Dave get you to practice a car carry? Because I I trained down there and I haven't seen a car carry. How did he do that? Well, uh, it was actually pretty much. Using the yoke. Using the yoke, yeah. So, just training that, and you know, every, every time I come down and every week, I'm training legs. So I'm sure I've seen you, you had like the frame, and you had some straps on your shoulders yes, like yes. that. Yes. How did, how, how at did... that time, we didn't know. I didn't know exactly um, how it was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be the straps. So we did like a makeshift frame for that, 
but it weren't, it was actually just like a yolk. It was, turned out to be a yolk. Okay. okay, so we've done the log press, we've done the car carry, what's next? Uh, then that was the first two events. Yep. The third one was... Oh, so let's, let's free, free back. So we're, we've gone to America, yeah? Three day events, first two events, log press, car carry. How did we do on them? Um, not too bad, to be fair, yeah. Yeah, smash that. You got, you got points in each event. Yeah. So. You've got to understand, um, flying out to America, 12 hour trip, and then you've got to compete a three, a three day event. And he's only, believe it, I know it doesn't look like it, but he's only a baby. <laughs> so he's gone to America, first two days, Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, so was there much pressure? There was a lot of pressure, yeah. Who did you go with? Was you on your own I there? I went with my partner. Oh, your partner. You, yes. you don't have to say her name, you don't have to say her name. I'm trying to steal her <laughs> off you. Fiance. Fiance, yes. Fiance. Yeah, that fiance. So yeah, he's gone to America. Stands for just calling your yeah. partner now. He's done the first uh, first day. Was that on the Friday, was it? That was on the Friday. On the Friday. So what did you do Friday night? Did you go out and party or did you? Well, actually, the day before that, it was on the, say, the Thursday. The Thursday. Was, was the weigh-in. Yes. Tell the so, story of the weigh-in, Matt. Uh, yeah. All right. He's going to tell the story of the weigh-in now. Go on. How drunk so, were you? Uh, What's it going? First of all... This is for the great strongest man. Oh, this ex, is ex, funny. First of all, explain... Who gave you the advice? What did what, what did your coach tell you to do? I needed to walk. Water court, sweat it, relax. So what did he tell you to do? Uh, I need. To, what did he tell you to do? Small amounts of alcohol. Small amount of alcohol. That's what and it wasn't alcohol. quite a small amount of no, alcohol, it was it? I was sort of chugged it. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, we'll by, by the time he weighed in, I think you were pretty much bladdered. Yes, I was. Uh, but you made the weight cut. I did, yeah. I got, I got a very funny phone call yes. from a very drunk Matt <laughs> saying, Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but I'm a bit drunk. Yeah. Just yeah. a disclaimer, we do not recommend getting uh, pissed the night before a, the night before a competition, <laughs> but he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So he's done that, he's got to America, done the first two events, second day. In the morning, what kind of breakfast, what fuels you for a day like that? Um, so I was on a strict diet anyway, so um, it wasn't too heavy. Yeah, because again, I don't want to be four bacon, four, four bacon sandwiches. Oh no, I wish. No, I no, wish. no. So you got there in the morning, good hotel, you had your breakfast, you get to the event. I've got to ask, what is it like competing against Zunas Kaviskas? Well, competing in the same room because he was in the um, was it the Masters? Yes. He was in the Masters category. You're in your category. You're in the same room competing together. What's it like? What's it feel like in the room? Uh, it was just surreal. Surreal. The yeah. aura. Everyone's on of him. Were the eyes on him or were the eyes on you? On him. Well, see, that's where yeah. they got it wrong because Bolton will come and take Sir Venus's record with one day, especially <laughs> in the shoulder press, as you can tell. So you've done that. Your second day, what are the two events? Uh, so the second day is um, Deadlift Ladder. Deadlift Ladder, yeah. Just then, the Bolton's favourite event. He's one of the best deadlifters in this category. Well, not even in this category, on the planet. Uh, I think you can do 340, something like that, isn't it? 330? Oh, I've got a three, 323 kilo. 323 kilo? Deadlift. And that's it. how many times body weight? Just under, I think about four times body four weight. Four times body yeah. weight, you're right. Like I said, quarter a day. <laughs> so, uh, first event, deadlift ladder. How did you do on, how did you do on that? Uh, I did pretty well, to be fair. Um, my training that I did went well. Yeah. So, going on to the day, I knew I was going to do quite well. Yeah, that, yeah. That competition. What was the next event? Uh, medley carry. Medley carry. Explain to the people at home what medley what a medley carry is. So it was uh, a sandbag yeah. and a husafal. Yeah. Husafal is like a big. Um, best thing to describe it is like a big, big. Um, it's almost like a shield. Yeah, sort of yeah, a shield on your chest that you run with. Sorry, yeah, Matt. That's all right. Uh, and then there was a sled. Yeah. So, so tell them what you have to do. So what you have to do, fifteen meter. Yeah. Pick up the sandbag. Ham, ham, hundred kilo. Hundred sandbag. kilo sandbag. Half a day. Run to the sled, yeah. <laughs> drop it into the uh, sled. How much did the sled weigh? Uh, on its own, it was 180 kilos. Half a day. <laughs> Run back, yeah. pick up the hoose of fowl, it's yeah. 113 kilos. Yeah. Then run back yeah. to the sled, drop it down into the sled, yeah. and then carry it back. All right. So you've done the four events. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get through to the final day, did you? No, you have to be top 10. So. Top 10 in the world, so I just want to say, just a round of applause in the room. You. You, you did. I just want to say on uh, behalf of everybody, uh, Dave will say as well, just congratulations. You did us all proud, didn't you, Dave? Massively proud. Uh, what would you like to say, Dave? Yeah. Want to? 
I just wanted to pick Matt's brain his training routine. Obviously, you've picked up on that. I'll do his nice little pro programme for him. Yeah. Um, obviously, a lot of people out there under 80 kilo or even just starting out in strong. Well, what basic tips could you give to the audience um, to help people out with the training routine? Any ideas you can give? Um, I think you, it's best to focus on technique. You know, leave the ego. Uh, leave the ego? Leave the ego out, yeah. Because if you don't get the technique right, that's it then. He, 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 boys and girls, he is correct, yeah. If you see my videos and stuff, do not copy me. Come to my seminars and workshops, but don't copy my form. <laughs> do as right. I say, not as I do. Sorry, Dave, carry on. So, yeah. Uh, so, basic structure, what's your basic structure? How many days a week do you train? So, I train on the uh, four times a week Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, Saturday. Yep. Uh, Monday okay. consists of shoulders, Wednesdays, legs. And then Thursday is uh, chess, and then Saturday is my favourite day, it's deadlifts. Yeah. Uh, How do you fit your events in, obviously, with basic routines? Do you do you split your events? Do you try and so, pair them up? Yeah, so whatever um, the, the routine is, the plan, I'll do that, and then I'll do the events after. So it's, it's pretty much it, but almost like a bodybuilding sort of style of training, then the events after. Right, so you warm up doing the basic routines. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the word for it? Progressive overload. Progressive over, overload. Yeah. And over. And there's over, there's yeah. lots of different. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. lots and lots of reps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah lots, it's lots just, just uh, getting that technique there. So as I yeah, say. no, your technique is key. Technique is key. Any, uh, any more questions, Dave? Yeah. So if you've got um, tips to get into under eighties. Tips to get into under eighties. So if somebody out there was looking at uh, 79, 80 kilos and they were thinking, oh, I fancy that. I've seen the events. What do they do? Do you start? want to get into it? Yeah. Like Dave just said, you want to get into it. You want some tips? Uh, what do you do, brother? Well, I contacted the Chaos Strength Gym. Chaos Strength Gym. That's where I... Uh, top think. gym up north, is it, Dave? Preston, I think, I believe. Yeah, Rihanna yes. Lovelace. And, and Luke. Luke. Yeah, while, while we're there, just... Davis. Uh, Luke Davis, just a magic, massive congratulations to you guys over at the event because you did everybody in England proud. You did. Uh, all the boys, all the girls there. Um, massive applause to you guys as well. Thank you very much for doing it for us. Uh, we did it for everybody in the country. Um, so, getting into what was the question, Dave? Okay, where do they start with under 80s? So where, where, where would you start, Matt? Okay, let's say I was 80 kilos. Where would I start? You know, when you were seven. <laughs> um, where, where would you start? Well, who, would, who, how, who would I contact? Is there a way? Is it Facebook? It's Instagram? through Facebook, so it's all through Facebook. What's, what's Dave's phone number? <laughs> no. no well, so no. I did try, guys. I did try. You obviously have to get a hold of the event organizer. Would, so. it, would it be best just to go at it on your own, or would it be best to get a coach or get a PT or somebody who knows what they're doing? Because yeah, there's plenty yeah. out there. But just remember, guys, just because someone's got a certificate, yeah, doesn't mean they know what they're talking about, right? You want somebody who's been there, got the T-shirt proven records, right? I'm not saying the person's got to have been there with the mountain themselves, but if they're a coach, they've got to have proven records, you know what I'm saying? Good athletes, bad, uh, good athletes. Um, so, that's just a bit of advice for you guys. Get yourself a good coach. All knowledge is good, even bad knowledge. Um, so, what? Yeah, bad knowledge is good, because then you know, you're just laughing, I'm telling you now. Yeah, Bad knowledge is good, because then you know the bullshit when you hear it. You shouldn't swear. I've gone really, really well to all this about swearing. So, what's next for Matthew Bolton? Um, so, I'm going to, obviously next year, go for the British Strongest Man again. British Strongest Man, are you going there for fifth place or are you going there for first place? I'm going there for first place, yeah. yeah. What, then you're going to go back to Worlds or? Uh, I might go to the Arnold's um, next, oh, and the Arnold's. next year. And explain, then, explain to them what the Arnold's are. Um, so, it's a, it's a new um, setup really. Yeah. It's, uh, it was last year, oh this year actually. Uh, at the NII, at the yeah. NEC, yeah. Uh, and it's just um, just an overall for different um, yeah. categories for uh, strongman or strongwoman. Fantastic. Uh, is there anything else, you'd like to, anything else you'd like to thank or anything else you'd like to say before we uh, end the interview? No, just thank you for everybody supporting me and everybody's help. Yeah. Uh, is there anything, Dave, any more questions people want to ask or anything like that? I think we're all good, bro. We're all good? Together. All right. Just uh, once again, me and Matthew just want to say thank you to Dave just for uh, helping us all out because without his... Gym. Not, no, no, it's, not, it's not the gym. You can, train, you can train at any gym. People ask me personally, and Matthew said the same thing, why would we drive two hours a day just to train at this place? Because... It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. 
And then what you do is the way that you do it. Isn't that a song? All right, guys, just a quick reminder, yeah? Power workshops up and down the country. Still a few spaces left. And don't forget, 11th to the 12th of June, Strength Fest. Four workshops on the Saturday. One competition on the Sunday. These events are tailored for you. If you're just starting, we'll start light. If you're coming to smash it, we'll go heavy. Eight international coaches. One weekend. I've got one question. Matthew, are you going to be there? Oh, yeah. Matthew's going to be there coaching. Another question. Dave, are you going to be there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. See you there. Uh, that's it. Deadlift juice. Fatty. Hey. Matthew Bolton, one of the strongest men in the world. Interview tonight, live, 9 p.m. Deadlift Juice, your host, Dean Evans, Dave Meir. See you later.